Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back once again to another episode of our Life of a Legionary series. If you are behind on this and you want to go back and watch the previous episodes, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below in the description. But you definitely can just sit back and enjoy this as a one-off episode because we are going to get into some pretty gnarly battles today. We are now a senator inside of Rome and we are basically reconquering the lost settlements. Last episode, we fought some pretty insane battles, honestly, outnumbered, out gunned but we have the glory of the roman empire pushing us forward and now we are about to reclaim one of our lost settlements this is batavium the germanians have had it basically since the beginning of the game since that first war when they took the alp settlement and then pushed down into the south and with my you know pretty nice uh commanding i guess we're about to take it back so this battle should be pretty easy i would say uh so we will be able to just basically run through their defenses uh they only have what 200 men i'm of course still looking to get some good kills on this one and we have a nice artillery as well i think we're like firing like chain shot or something man i know i keep on always saying oh i wish battle lord had this i wish battle lord had that but again i feel like they could do so much more with the artillery whether it's making more breaches choosing ammunition like this is like loads of logistic stuff they could really look to add in but yeah this battle we're just gonna basically run up here storm the walls get some experience in like throwing and other stats and then uh, then just kind of move on the last target we have in this settlement is definitely going to be the the castle in the Alps. So it's basically our last settlement. We need to try and conquer after we've conquered this one. Oh, lots of javelins being lobbed off over here. Wow. Yeah. And the gate must be going down pretty soon as well. Yeah, the battering ram still isn't even out of the gate. Which is kind of funny, but we will continue to use these uh, these peelum pretty effectively. Even if we just kill shields as well. I mean, these peelum are ripping through these warriors. Uh, but yeah, let's just obviously finish these guys off. We need to make our way down there. Luckily, they're using a lot of their javelins on our soldiers up here, though. So when we do get, finally get through that gate we hit... No, we just missed. Yeah, as soon as we get through that gate, we're going to have a pretty nice time of it. But they're definitely taking their pound of flesh. I think we want to really win this. And then we want to pull back and we want to basically end the war. I think we've, we've fought... Oh, hello. I think we fought the Germanians enough that we've reconquered. We kind of need some time of peace. But we might try and just sneak that last settlement. I'm just very scared of the Germanians coming in with like a, a fat off army again. Because we've already defeated like 4,000 of their men. I would hate for them to bring up some extra soldiers. Still being pushed back here. God, like the Germanians are actually like... I'm not going to lie. We might actually lose this battle. I mean, we're not going to because I'm going to take command now of our boys. But yeah, the Germanians, like what do we even have left? We've all these soldiers here. Okay, boys, just literally go there and then go through the gate. Oh, well, I say that. We are, we're not even breaking through. Yeah. Get off AI command, which you guys shouldn't be, and literally go here. And we'll push through. The oh, my God. I went down as well. Yeah, just get here. I don't need you guys. I hate, I hate sieges, man. Like, the AI just doesn't listen. Look, they're just not doing anything. And there's nothing. They're not on AI command, right? Yeah. What if I do that and then take command? No, but just, yeah, it's so... Oh, man, look, what's the point of being able to command armies if you literally can't even command armies? Like, oh, it's just so stupid, man. Like, what? What? Like, why is that actually just a joke? Is that a mod I'm using? Like, is that RBM stopping me? I don't know. Like, I feel like, why would RBM do that? That's actually ridiculous. So we're going to have to solo this, this, uh, this battle, I guess. We've got a peeler in hand. Oh, my God, how did that arrow hit me? If we've got a peeler in hand, so it shouldn't be too bad. I, mean, I think we are just fighting as like a random Roman. How many of these? Oh my god, what the hell hit me? Right through your hand there. Oh, up the top. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, the arch is up there. Well, we have to just have to hope that the boys are going to be able to push forward. We've got one more Pelum left, so let's just lob it at that guy. Yeah, basically one shot me slowly archer. Oh, we're through the gate again now? I think we're through the gate. Okay, that should help out a little bit. I mean, we're going to break through, but the fact that the AI just doesn't listen to us is, yeah, really frustrating. Okay, we're, we're going to go down on this soldier as well. But let's just try and take down as many as we can. Definitely the guys with the spears. Whoever shot... I think he just friendly fired his own boy there. <laughs> oh, no. Sucks to be him. Yeah, I'll deal with the last of these archers. Should be a few more up here. We need to be careful. We'll probably end up going down. Oh, my God. There's everywhere. Took down one. Oh, my God. His boy. I think someone else just took him out again. Hey. We'll take that. That's another one down. And then the last one, boom. Yeah, there you go. The settlement has been lost now. We've, uh, we've claimed this one. I mean, that was definitely not an easy battle, though. We lost a lot of soldiers. Yeah, over 160 men died in that battle. Again, good influence, good renown. I'm not going to complain there. I think we might even literally be at the next clan here, which will be amazing, honestly. 
but yeah we definitely lost a lot of soldiers we rescued i think but i think yeah i think they were actually holding basically our entire army here as well so it's good that we actually got here because yeah we had a lot of lords actually imprisoned here so we'll lift that up again our charm is actually almost at 200 uh, which is perfect tons of gear remember that we get bonuses from uh, not taking the gear so again i know people said that all oh, your troops were only upgrade this much but also we just don't really need money like there's nothing to spend this money on anyway so I just don't really care too much. Is that is that bad of me just to like get rid of it? Like we're making loads of money. It's fine. Whatever. Now the question is, do we want Patavium? I think we do, right? Like I feel like we will take Patavium because it's, it's a frontier settlement. It's a settlement that we can utilize to our advantage. And then we have basically, uh, you know, the settlement over here down in, in Sardinia. Yeah, Sardinia is for southern one. Corsica is the top one. So yeah, we have like Sardinia uh there and we also have the tab a little bit split up but if we can maybe like secure stalia then that gives us like a nice little connection of our settlement so i'm, I'm happy with that oh, yeah and the other important thing is right that we get a bonus depending on how many, yeah we get an increase to our party size for every town we control i assume towns are just like these big ones right they're not classed as castles so uh that's still pretty nice though that is still pretty nice so yeah i'm happy with that we've, we've now conquered this um there is there's a scholar here i mean we do need someone to yeah, you're just a medic, man. But I guess we do, we do need someone to start governing these cities as well. So welcome, you Carthaginian scum, to the... I say Carthaginian. I think he's Carthaginian. Either way, you're welcome, and then you're immediately going to start governing this. I mean, what a promotion, right? I wish someone would just give me that. Okay, so after we've done that, we're going to head south now because I, I need to, of course, put all these people in prison. And obviously, if we can capture this lord who's just like basically okay he's gonna run that's fine they caught that will save these people really quickly maybe draw no we don't draw anyone else in that's fine so yeah let's clear these up just help these peasants uh capture anyone else but we can why not oh some good units as well yeah these are some decent soldiers and also some spanish and also some gallic cavalry and obviously we need a lot more men so we'll grab all of those why not and then yeah we'll head down to like rome drop off our prisoners and then move on from there is that a joke the settlement literally just rebelled from us like we'd literally just taken it and it's rebelled that's a that's a bit fast i mean i understand it there should be like a countdown or something you know like in in your quest logs when it's like in so and so days the city settlement will rebel it's kind of just silly that it just rebels and there's not really much you can do about it like what could i have possibly done in that situation it really should have been like you have a hundred days to sort this out or the settlement is gonna rebel I and mean, then you could kind of add quests to, like meet with the rebel leaders and kind of give in to their demands and stuff you know then you don't get taxed from the city man i should really develop banner lord like no joke there are so many enemy lords inside of this castle it's kind of a bit crazy to think that they can even like stand up against us because they shouldn't be able to, uh, which is just hilarious. Again, getting tons of relations. Look at that. Our charm is now at 200. Wow. It's going up so quickly. So we could gain uh, persuasion required against characters of your own culture. Now, that's going to be pretty good. But I feel like foreign... Oh, wait. Both of these are amazing, honestly. The bottom one's a bit better because it just levels up your companions a little bit faster. But this top one basically allows us to get like other romans to our cause really quickly but we should probably do a bottom one because there's there's two other roman factions which i don't believe are our culture so i think that's gonna be the play uh, and also our boy here leveled up again he's a bit of a fighter but he's also a medic as well at heart so we'll all take that okay cool um so i mean i guess like i'd love to have taken this castle from germanians but we should honestly just peace out at this point yeah i mean they have to have seven thousand men and we just take back patavium and then we deal with it that way I guess is the plan. I mean, of course, we do need to recruit some more men. Oh, yeah, look at that as well. We are also now clan tier three. Awesome. So that allows us to have six companions. I think once this war ends, we need to basically just go and grab a bunch of companions uh, to fill out our army. Realistically, you should be grabbing companions. Like, as soon as you start the game, you should be at your limit because the sooner you get them, the quicker they level up. And companions are actually pretty important in this game. But we've managed to rally about 400 men again. Let's just go back and deal with this rebellion. Now, we could arguably go and just try and siege the settlement in the alps and try and conquer that quickly but i think just dealing with this the war is gonna uh, i say that the war is gonna end soon but i just don't know if 400 men is gonna be enough to take that with obviously the possibility of them then reinforcing with extra soldiers yeah look at that they have like four parties inside of there so we don't even really have enough men i am a bit curious oh they all ran out perfect oh my god thank you guys yeah they have so much food as well mm. do we stay here is the question like i'm really debating just going to the settlement in the alps and just trying to take that castle before the germanians counter-attack because we can always conquer this back i think that's what i'm actually going to do 
I think we are going to abandon it. Our leadership went up as well, which is good. So we get more morale from victories or we get garrison size. Let's get more morale from victories. I want people to like, yeah, really come into play and just boost up. And also it gives you know, kind of better chance for, for soldiers to um, get elite troops in govern uh, settlements as well, which I guess isn't bad. I mean, we're never going to be a governor by again. It's such, it's so stupid. You can't govern your own settlements. I, I hate to be so negative about this game, honestly. But like, this is so recently. I've just been like, oh, why isn't this in the game? Why isn't that in the game? Uh, so much, you know? Oh, okay. 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 I don't know if our army's going to be good enough to deal with this, right? They have a bit more cavalry. We have more infantry. If we fight this battle. Yeah, if we fight this battle, we're going to lose enough men and we're going to not be able to take this back for a while, which is obviously just stupid. But also, I love to have cool battles as well. Let's take the Germanian cavalry back under our command. We, we easily can do that. So we'll do that. We'll lose a bit of morale. I mean, do we just turn and fight this like for the fun of a battle? I guess we do, right? Yeah, so let's just do it. This will basically be the killing below to the Germanian war. We will, yeah, demolish them. We've got 70 of their lords in our in our dungeons. So let's fight them. This will be a good battle. And then we'll just have to build up and deal with these guys later. Okay, so the nice thing is that we actually get to command these battles for once. Like, for so long, I feel like we haven't been able to. So in this one, I think what we're going to do is just kind of have a little standard free line push and pull type of deal. You know, like, there's no need to do anything too crazy. I think we're just going to have, yeah, we're going to have a nice little split line. I'm going to put all my cavalry over here, and we're going to stick them into a shield wall. The reason why you stick them into a shield wall is so that they actually stay really clumped up, and they can kind of team up against enemy forces. We also actually have 50 archers now. Which isn't awful. So we're just taking them. You know, this is going to be a very standard battle for us, I think. Uh, we are still on foot as well. Uh, oh, yeah, we have... Did I just not... Oh, I must have messed up there, right? Yeah. So, who are we missing? These guys, yeah. You guys get back here. Just form up there, please. Perfect. And, yeah, well, I mean, they'll, they should be attacking me again. Their cavalry's a little bit scary. Yeah, they have a lot of cavalry. Okay, it actually seems like they're charging me on this flank. So we're just going to send all of our cavalry to go deal with them. I'm also uh, going to stick these flanking forces. Yeah, so these flanking forces can stay in a normal line. But our front line, of course, is going to go into a shield wall. And then we're going to push the shield wall a little bit further forward. So we kind of, like, encourage the enemy to come around the flanks. And then that's when we hit them, right? Uh, and then we'll, of course, like, stagger our formation. I mean, to be fair, even these guys could maybe go into a shield wall to obviously deal with that. But I also feel like shield wall isn't the best op like uh, the best way to deal with enemy cavalry. Oh my god, look at our cap! Look at that shield wall, man. Shield wall is brutal for cavalry. You guys should really be doing these tactics in battle um, because yeah, they just they just rip them apart. Unfortunately, now I think they're going to be getting a little bit close to enemy archers and stuff. But okay, cool. Also, the enemy is getting pretty close. So what we can do is go fire at will. Now that they're close enough, and it seems like the AI is really going quite hard. Look at that javelin volleys in the side. Yeah, it looks like the AI is really going quite hard on this formation. So let's, let's just turn these guys in a little bit. Why not? And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the archers, and we're going to stick the archers, like, right here. Hell yeah. So they'll be able to fire into that kind of gap that we've created. We have all these guys appeal them still. Their cavalry is harassing us. That's fine. Okay, so they've gone really hard on that position. So what we're going to do is we're obviously going to deal with any cavalry. We have a small little contingent of soldiers here. So let's uh, let's push these guys up a little bit. We obviously want to deal with them. But our line is holding for now. The line is holding. Oh, what the hell are you guys doing? Get out of here, man. You're not welcome. There we go. Good job. Good job. Cavalry in our flank is fine because we have enough pelum to deal with them. Yeah, and we just need to have so you guys keep on pushing up. You guys push up. If anything, I want you guys to, like, engage the enemy. So this basically means they're going to kind of just pursue the enemy. And they're not going to go charging into the nearest enemy. They're going to stay in a formation. And they're going to push up. And they're going to basically kind of, once they hit the enemy, they're going to sit back and do their own thing. So this will be nice. We'll be able to clear these guys up. How is our left flank? Oh, my God. I have, like, two pelums here. How's our left flank doing? Actually, surprisingly well. They dealt with that very nicely. All right, cool. Push up there, then. Oh, I'm very scared of the archers, though, man. I'm very scared of these archers. Uh, how's our cavalry doing? Our cavalry is kicking ass right now. Mad. Yeah, they're, they're juking the crap out of theirs. Okay, that's great for us. Let's keep on pushing up. Yeah, we're going to use these guys, then. We're going to use these guys to come around. Um, again, I am, uh, why am I on horseback? I don't even know why I'm on horseback. I think it's better to deal with this. So we're also going to tell these guys to engage. Yeah, you guys engage. You guys are already engaging. And that enemy cavalry charge is going to hurt. Don't get me wrong. That is going to be pretty painful. But with the infantry coming in, we will be fine, I think. Yeah, especially once we kind of pin them down a little bit. You can see the damage, even though I did just go down. 
We can still fight our way off quite nicely. You ain't getting away that easily, mate. Oh my god, hit it, hit, 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 hit. Oh, that was so close. Uh, okay, cool. So then we, then we want these guys to push up now to onto the archers, right? So you want these guys to push up onto the archers. Might bring my cavalry back now. Yeah, bring back the cavalry to deal with them. I mean, the infantry is just, yeah, let's just, let's just push. Let's just push on these archers, man. We are, hopefully, we're going to hit them as we, um, as we go into their, like, front with our archers. Then we hit them with everything else. That'd be really nice. Pull out the sword if we can. Nail that guy. Pull out the sword. And then the cavalry is going to be coming in at that exact time. And start hitting the archers. Be perfect. And we can start using this cavalry sword. Yeah, cut through these guys nicely. And then basically everybody just charged. We've kind of done our tactics now. It's now just a full-on, like, close down these archers as quickly as possible. They do have a lot of archers, though. Yeah, it's pretty scary. But we can look like... The, the Germanic archers are nothing to be scared about. Like, they're deadly, but they're lightly armored. That cavalry is also deadly, but lightly armored. Yeah, that's kind of the whole Germanian stick is that they have really, like, maneuverable horses. They have really maneuverable archers. And their infantry is clad in chainmail. But once you kind of pin them down, they just really start to dwindle. And you can obviously use your heavy infantry to your advantage. A solid battle, I would say. Uh, we, we only lost 60 men there. Nice. Uh, we actually kill one of their lords in battle as well. Nice. Cool. Well, we'll hopefully... Uh, yeah, we'll hopefully not start any blood feuds between our, our factions. But I feel like we kind of already have. Uh, you can go. You're just a mercenary. I don't care about you. Uh, you, however, are just coming with me. And I think, of course, we're going to take all of these uh, Scythian horses because they're really strong. The Romans can come with me. We can recruit those. And we'll take all of the Germanic Cav as well. Uh, as I said, the Germanic Cav is great. It's a really good light skirmisher Cav. And we can utilize it very effectively uh, to our own advantage. And look at that. We're gaining 13,000 experience. Granted, I know we're going over our limit. I just can't be bothered to, like, do this until it stops being red, you know? Like, it is it's fine. I don't need money, right? We'll take the horses and we'll take the food. Uh, but everything else can just go to upgrading the army. And surprisingly, we still have 300 men left remaining. Like, this army is done for. We can, we can catch it as well. Oh, my God. Perfect. Yeah, surrender or die. Uh, they say no. Again, the AI should really know when it's defeated, right? Uh, so, yeah, you can go. We'll take the influence and also the bonuses. I um, mean, you can obviously go into my dungeon. Ooh, decreased shield damage taken, which is an upgrade to the one we have. So let's upgrade that for sure. And we'll, of course, take for food. We're over our capacity by quite a bit, but I mean, it's fine. So, let's, so they're about to surrender, I think. So let's make our way up to this castle. We might not be in time. We might not have enough manpower to siege it, but I can't imagine they have more men. Um, so let's try. Again, they're going to surrender, I think, very soon. So let's just try and rush this down. We only have 200 men in this castle. So we basically just want to try and get up here and we also want to try and destroy their artillery if we can do we go with one artillery yeah i think we do just push even though they, they have two artillery but we are gonna get a lot of money right there's 600 that's half over half a million and then two thousand a day they'd pay across all of our clans so i'm gonna accept it i think again it would be nice to have taken that castle but it is what it is okay cool so now we head back down here we still have 300 men we'll boost up the, co the cohesion a little bit and we'll go and we'll just reclaim back Patavium. Oh, it seems like one of our other Lord Armies are there as well. So we might not even have to do it. I might, if I can, even just auto-resolve this. Um, so that we get a little bit of tactics. Uh, I think with this many men and the men I have, we'll be fine. And then it's about, obviously, getting companions. And then it's also about grabbing... Um, it's also about then grabbing uh, the extra, like, soldiers, rebuilding our army. Uh, and then, obviously, helping out there. Yeah, so we'll probably just end up auto-resolving this one. So let's join up again. We are out. We outnumber them massively. The, the sieges are going to be really harsh in the auto resolve, but let's just get it done. I love getting the extra influence. I love getting the charm, and I love getting the tactics by doing that. So uh, it's not the end of the world. And we again got some big upgrades. So again, we'll continue to improve our cavalry force, which is actually getting up there now. It's not like the best cavalry in the world, but it's decent enough. And then we'll also grab as many of those horses as we can from the Germanian people. Uh, the oh, that's not bad either. Decreasing melee damage taken. We might take that. And then we'll, of course, also take the, the weapons to sell. We have plenty to sell. And, of course, we'll also take any food that we can get our hands on. The only downside to this is now that we can't claim it because technically we were not the ones to conquer it. So we can't actually go ahead and claim that for ourselves, which kind of sucks. Our boy is here. Uh, I guess we should go put him in our other settlement. And, uh, yeah, then I guess, yeah, we need to sell stuff for sure. We have 40k here, which is nice. We have so many banners. I'm going to keep all these banners because they're going to be useful to put on our companions, especially in battle. So we'll do that. We'll start selling. 
Uh, I guess I'll buy anything I can get my hands on as well. And it's just all this food that we have. We have like a, a pretty crazy excess of. We'll also buy... Uh, as much of the, the random, not that much meat. Uh, we'll also buy as much like food as we can to continue to boost our stewardship if we can, because uh, it's always pretty useful. And yeah, boom, look at that. We just made like 200k for basically nothing, uh, which is, yeah, always a benefit. We also leveled up as well. Nice. So what do we want to stick this point in? We like maxed out this. We obviously want to level up our social next so we continue to get some more points in charm. We've maxed out that. Our pole arm is fine. Our one handed is still fine. I guess we just continue to pump stewardship. We just don't have the intelligence. We just need to get a steward. So I guess I'm just not going to waste. And does that, does, that, does that get me to Horde Leader? Because the extra 10 party size is so nice. So yeah, I think then we're going to pump out. I guess we're going to have to stick, yeah, one more point in social and then start maybe grabbing up some other points as well. Yeah, I guess that'll just do. I guess that'll do. Okay, so the wars are over. We are now at peace. Uh, you know, there is peace. Italy is complete. I mean, we're on like episode, what, like 14 right now? And Italy is... Uh, it is now finally almost back to where it was, uh, which is pretty depressing. We're going to keep this army together for as long as possible because it does give you passive leadership experience. You can just see uh, we're getting some bonuses there. Uh, but yeah, the main goal is going to have to be to obviously hunt down the rest of these rebels, recruit up an army, train it. I mean, I would love to do a war of Carthage, you know. Once we've all had some time to rebuild our armies, I would love to fight someone who isn't with Germanians because I feel like that's all we've done this entire series. Oh, I'm also going to visit the Smithing Guild whilst we're here as well. So we can actually, I, we should, we should, yeah. We, we can now basically see the, the best that the uh, Romans have to offer. And there's a lot of good armors here as well. So I think we're going to upgrade some of our, our armor pieces. I feel like that's more of an emperor's armor. So we might not go... Yeah, with any of these. The red one is really not... Uh, when we're emperor, that's what we're going to wear for sure. But I feel like we're not quite there. We can also get like a pillar. Yeah, I mean, that looks so dope. Uh, that looks really, really cool. So let's get rid of a few of these as well. We want to make sure that we're not uh, we're not using them. Yeah, I, I, ideally, I want to have like a, a decent enough uh, helmet. Like a decent enough bodyguard, but it doesn't make me look like too great. Yeah, maybe like a good cavalry one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Again, fits in our armors and our, our weaponry. Uh, but, but yeah, and maybe just getting a gladius. I thought the cavalry sword is good. It has the length, obviously. But then we just use a pelum for everything else. It's also not a bad idea as well to start outfitting a few of our other boys as well. Uh, whilst we're here as well. We can give them like the upgraded helmets and stuff that we have access to. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, they even have legios as well. Oh my god, cool. Where's legio to Augustus? Can't see it. Oh, that's sad. Oh, well, we can even give him one of these though. Yes, he's going to have the SPQR. Does he have like all the other animations on the back as well? Oh, they do. That's really cool. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's not a Legio 2 anywhere. That's still cool, though. Okay, I guess we'll just rock, rock with, like, a Legio 1. Uh, yeah, let's just rock with, like, a Legio 1, then. That looks really nice. Oh, I love that. That looks amazing. Oh, you can even wear some civilian clothes like this. Perfect. Okay, boom. Yeah. So then when we're in our civilian outfits, we'll go something like that. Then it looks great. I mean, even if, to be honest, that could be something that we wear normally. Even though the, the hooded cloak as well is quite cool. Now, we're armored, but we're, we're incognito a bit. Yeah, let's rock with that. I mean, let's just find ourselves like a a normal a normal outfit. Something like that is cool, and we just need armed guards. Because, like, I always found it so silly that you could never bring, like, your weapons and stuff into a, into a city, you know? Like, especially once you become a lord. Like, it's just, like, it just doesn't make any sense, right? Does it? Like, it makes literally no sense whatsoever. Okay, so I'm going to probably visit every single Roman town now, look for some companions. And then I guess we're just going to go abroad and see what ones we can pick up. Because it would be very cool to have some high-level companions in our party. Uh, we might as well ransom these pretty prisoners now as well and do we level up again or somewhere yeah we leveled up our athleticism nice okay cool um i feel like i got this last episode but maybe we had a cra oh yeah we crashed at the end of the last episode didn't we so we couldn't quite do that yeah we'll definitely take the extra endurance stats then for sure uh, okay nice oh we caught some sea raiders okay again this will be an easy battle but this will be a great one to level up the army right there's there's a there's yeah 90 men or something. Uh, we're just going to go for a full force into one big group here. Uh, there's nothing to do anything else. And yeah, this will be great just to train up this, this infantry. Our cavalry force, I don't think, really needs training. The archers don't really need training. Uh, so yeah, let's just bring the infantry forward. Oh my god, I love our banners as well. That's so cool. Oh yeah, we also need to put this guy back in our settlement. We can do that, I think, through the uh, the AI as well. Or through the, uh, through the, the UI, I should say. Uh, we'll get these guys to hold fire for now. Get a little bit closer. And then we'll unleash a hellstorm of javelins. Here they come. Okay, they're close enough now. So fire, fire, fire everything, boys. Let's level up a little bit. Yeah, these javelins should be doing a lot of damage at the enemy. How cool would it be? I feel like I say this every battle. How cool would it be if when shields get destroyed, like you actually have to 
replenish them yourselves, you know? Like, if a shield gets destroyed in battle, then you have to go to, like, the army stockpile, and then you have to actually, you know, resupply your men. I think there was a mod for that that meant you actually had to resupply your soldiers with the, the, the equipment they needed. I actually don't know whatever happened to that. I never actually used it, I don't think. But it was actually, that actually sounds really cool, right? Also, look how dope we look with our new helmet as well. Or we'll let them run. Only two upgrades from that. Okay, but we gave him a bunch of influence. The influence is nice because the influence provides us with the ability to declare war. Uh, I think we need about 100 influence to do that. So the sooner we, we, sooner we get that, uh, the sooner we can go to war with Carthage. Okay, so we have a Carthaginian lady. She has okay leadership and some good fighting stats. So we might pick her up. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna grab her. Again, she's Carthaginian, which kind of sucks. That's gonna hurt us. But if she's leading men, I don't mind too much. Let's grab her. Again, we're gonna outfit everybody once we've got everybody. We can still have, what, another six companions. So right now, we have... Yes, yeah, so we can actually give this guy over to the governor again, uh, which is this guy. Yeah, so you start governing that settlement now. Boom. So then we have two companions. We have our surgeon and we have Milady. You can actually lead another party if she wanted to because uh, she has good leadership. Okay, leadership, I guess. So she could actually go ahead, in theory, in commanding a party. We then need someone to help lead the infantry, someone to help lead the cavalry. I mean, to, to be fair, having multiple people to lead infantry, because we're always going to have like three groups of infantry, is never a bad idea. So what I might do is we might just commit to it. I might just honestly go down to here, go to heroes, go to wanderers and actually just start fighting some uh, some uh, some roman wanderers you know now, this is the guy we've already got but yeah maybe there'll be some more one of the cool things is as well is that you can actually go ahead and set this up by just like culture so now we can find all the romans yeah there's a lot of them as well where are all these guys hiding there's so many of them oh my lord um yeah i guess oh, i know why okay cool yeah i know why so it's because it's because they are like Serve as a soldier basically adds in a bunch of these guys. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, serve as a soldier basically adds in a bunch of these. But yeah, let's let's go on a little bit of a quest. I'm gonna head northwards and just basically start like covering every settlement and seeing who they have. Uh, hopefully, all the Romans aren't all up here. You'd think that the Romans would be more likely to be in Rome, but I guess they are wandering for a reason. Okay, I mean, so we're currently in Carthage. I'm just going from town to town looking for companions. I mean, this guy would be a pretty good fighter, right? Like, obviously, he's Germanic. But he's never going to command anything. So we could just use a ferocious... I mean, it kind of feels so gross. Take yeah, no, it feels too gross. It feels too gross using the Germanian to lead the glorious legions of Rome. I mean, he would be very good at it. But yeah, we're just not, not going to do that. We're just not going to do that. I'll find a nice good Roman warrior. After traveling around the world, we are now back. And we are basically in a pretty good spot, I would say, with our companions. I've filled up the companions uh, across the board. So, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I only managed to find one good hardy Roman. But the other ones are fine. So we go to our, if we go to our members, sorry. So we have, of course, our scholar who's looking very good. He's our medic. We then have this guy who's currently governing a settlement. We then have these two people. Yeah, these two people have decent leadership. So I'm probably going to make both of these guys slash gals uh, command my two armies. Then we have this guy who's kind of like our, our, our cavalry leader. He'll boost them up. He has really good riding. And then we also have this guy who we're going to kind of make into our melee infantry leading one of the infantry battalions. I think that's a good little setup. And then when we obviously level up and we get access to more companions, I'll probably grab a few more infantry guys. But to be fair, for the most part, we're not going to need them, I would say, because uh, we're going to be... Oh, a new rebel effect. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's in diplomacy. Yeah, we're not going to need them because we're going to generally be in an army most of the time anyway. So it's actually not going to be that big of a deal. I also have... Uh, I was just over-recruiting a little bit as well. Um, and look at all the upgrades as well. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I also made sure as well to grab as many mercenaries along the way as well. So we should have, yeah, a bunch of these Iberian soldiers I'm looking forward to upgrading. Uh, let's just sort out this over, um, over, I guess, yeah, over having too many soldiers. Let's just do that. I uh, mean, just get rid of two more. I guess just two, yeah, two of these guys. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. Perfect. The next thing I wouldn't mind doing whilst we're at peace is actually buying a ship. Um, so let's talk to the ship, right? Let's see if we can go ahead and buy. Oh, also as well, someone like mentioned that I had the cheat menu on and it was like, like, what are you doing? I caught you out, Jackie. Like, I literally always have the cheat menu on. I have the cheat menu on all the time. Imagine if I had to turn it off every single time I went to record this. Like, you think how much my life is, is so, how it's so much easier when I have it on when I'm recording mod videos. Like, like Thursday's video was all about the cinematic combat mod and the reinforcement mod. Like, getting footage for that would be 
pretty impossible if I didn't have it on. And I'm not just going to turn it off every single time. So yeah, it's on. You caught me, I guess. Um, you know, it's like literally doesn't affect anything. Um, cool. So we can buy some galleys. I don't actually know how many men they can have. Okay, cool. So if we buy two galleys. Um, so what's our fleet name? I don't know. What should we call our fleet? I'm just going to call it 123. But yeah, you guys maybe comment down below. Give me a good name for it. And then we'll also uh, grab two. So this way we can have two. Yeah, this way we can have two two fleets. Uh, sorry, this way we can have two ships. We can actually land and, and set sail and stuff, which is good. So now when I select for water, or do I have to go to the port and then set sail? Yeah, set sail. Cool. So now I can actually travel to my settlements. Um, because beforehand, we had to pay like 20 grand to ferry the army across. But now, we can just go and sail there. Which, again, is going to be really important for when we actually go and invade Carthage. Yeah, we also have all of our garrison as well. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's send over our soldiers to the garrison. And then let's just get the, the best tier soldiers and let's build an army, right? So let's just grab as many of these good soldiers as we can. And we'll just go down the line. Actually, I don't really care. You're a banner carrier, but you're Scythian, so I don't really want you. Uh, we'll grab you guys. You guys will take the cavalry, all the good infantry, uh, and then yeah, there's a few other crappy units in there which we're not too fussed about. There's a bunch of these guys as well. Oh, we're way over our limit. Oh my god. We're, oh, because of all of these guys? Yeah. Okay. Let's go down on the infantry then. We don't need this much infantry. I also don't want you in the army, uh, which is fine. Okay, cool. So that leads us about 20, and I guess we just grab a bunch of cavalry. Yeah, we grab all of you guys I mean, I guess you guys? And then the rest is just archers. This is the problem. Whenever I do this, I always end up with, like, not getting the, the actual good soldiers that I want. Like, I never have a, a balanced army because I just end up grabbing, like, all the infantry. But I think that's a good little setup right there. And we also would have obviously boosted up the, the strength of that a little bit. Uh, the cool thing about this settlement is that it also has a tier 3 siege workshop as well. And tier 3 fortification. So it's going to be pretty much impossible for the AI to take it quickly. Because the siege towers will be built and they'll be a great defensive factor. We obviously want to boost up our, our construction. So we'll start spending some money towards that uh, as well. We're actually running a little bit low on cash uh, to be honest. But that should be fine. Okay, cool. Let's set sail again. Uh, get back to the mainland. Because I would imagine if we go to war with if we go to war of Carthage, we're gonna probably run into um their assaults inside of uh, inside of sicily so that's kind of i want to make sure that i'm on the mainland ready to deal with that yeah look at this as well so i've just got a new legionary pillars prior so our top centurion i'm grabbing these guys as well and um, we can upgrade all of these dudes now all of my praetorian guard can come in and we even have more of that. So yeah, I'm literally stacked out on special recruitment. So I imagine our party size has just jumped through the roof. Like, yeah, let's have a look. Yes, 200. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we're we're pretty strong right now. Let's go back to our settlement quickly. And yeah, let's just recruit up to maximum and go to War of Carthage. The downside is to this is that if we lose these soldiers in battle, we're going to lose party size. So we could actually end up losing a lot of our very good soldiers just simply... Uh, due to us like running out of manpower uh, and losing our, our centurions and stuff. But hopefully we can kind of rank up our army enough that it's not really that big of a problem. Uh, should we get ourselves a horse soon as well? I feel like we probably should grab ourselves a horse. Okay, boom, there we go. War has been declared. We are now obviously fighting Carthage, uh, which is... Oh no, I clicked the wrong one. Oh no, so now we're fighting... The Gallic Romans by mistake. Oh, why did I click the wrong ones? I, I was I was wondering why it wasn't. Because like when I looked at this previously, it said 3%. So I was like, oh, there's no way they're going to do it. But then when I clicked on it a second go to declare war, it said 100%. And I guess this is why. To be fair, though, these Romans are about our strength. We can start taking some towns from them. Uh, so it's not actually the worst thing in the world. And I have a very hefty party, so I can kind of do my own thing. Uh, and, and beat them back. I'd love to recruit these elites, but not going to happen. And if we can chase down these guys as well, yeah, help out. We'll send the troops to gain some tactics experience. Remember, we are trying to uh, boost that up a little bit. Uh, and again, it's good influence, and we're also making more friends. We should also, yeah, speaking of which, we should also, on the 32 upgrades as well, I guess that's all the traveling. Uh, we should also try to get married as well. So we need to find like Era and actually marry her, I guess, would be perfect. Oh, yeah. Finally, as well, what we should do is we should go north and we should uh, outfit all of our soldiers so they look Roman and not Carthaginian or, or anything. Oh, do we like that, though? Or would we prefer them to look like their cultures, you know? Like, we're a nice little mix. I mean, either or would kind of be kind of cool. Uh, we're going to take that bottom one, actually. It's better for the overall campaign. Uh, no, let's make them look Roman, right? Like, we can just pretend that they're all Roman. 
Okay, so I think that I've done the boys. So basically, it just outfitted them with shields, swords, the appropriate equipment, left a little bit of flair for some of the characters. But for the most part, I think they did just change them over to the, you know, the stuff they should be wearing. I like this guy as well. He's got our banner again. I know he's not really, he's a centurion, so he should have, probably have a shield and stuff. But still, that looks, looks cool, I think. Luckily, it only costs us like 30k as well. So we can even sell some of the stuff that we just got from that Carthaginian, or sorry, from that Roman... A caravan. Yeah, we'll sell that stuff. Even sell the wine. Why not? So it's actually not even that expensive. Nice. Now we're outfitted and we're ready for war. We actually also somehow have 100 influence. Where did we just get that from? I swear we were on like 60 before. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we could build up a bit of an army. I kind of almost want to just go in like by myself though and see what we can run into. It doesn't really seem as well that they've already got like a little bit of war exhaustion. What from? Casualties? Like, what have they been fighting? I guess maybe they've been raiding a little bit? I guess all oh, the caravans would have counted towards them. Okay. So yeah, I guess in this war, the idea would just be to maybe just take Massalia and, and Lug Lugdunum, I guess. And then that kind of just, yeah, it gives us the river as a protection and gives us a nice little foothold. It allows us to kind of expand the borders a little bit. And then, yeah, and then we maybe look to turn on Carthage and have a war for like, you know, Carthage itself. And then maybe a few castles around here. Like, then maybe we just take these three settlements and call it a day, you know? We don't have to go really hard against one side or another. Keep in mind as well that, you know, the battles are going to be pretty difficult from now on because we're fighting, you know, actual Romans. Okay, cool. Let's fall back. <laughs> Let's fall back. If they're going to come up there, uh, they're, yeah, if are coming with a thousand men, okay, we could probably join that army, honestly. Um, yeah, we could probably join that army. I got a member Germanians declared war on us again. Do they, like, have... They just, like, they just can't chill, you know? Like, it's not that difficult just to leave us alone for, like, one simple day. We are truly their mortal enemies. Okay, so a two-front war. A two-front war. Uh, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to win this. Okay, that'll, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and deal with this army first. I think they're gonna get dragged in here as well. Uh, which is gonna be perfect, honestly. Yeah, they do. And then we can chase down these armies as well. Oh, God, I almost just got caught there. We can be very safe, though, and then drag everybody in and finish them off. Yeah, they're stuck in there as well. Perfect. Cool. Well, we're going to get a pretty decisive victory right away against these guys. Uh, Yeah, let's help out. Yeah, it's a huge battle right here. That's huge. Again, though, the annoying thing is because it's an ongoing battle, we don't get to actually command anyone. We obviously have our own forces, which is fine. So let's first things first, actually. Infantry. Let's combine up our infantry into one big blob. But to be fair, we can actually combine everybody into one big blob. Oh. Can we do that if we press this and then go down to F5? Yeah, it sticks everybody to that. Okay, cool. So let's just select oh, that, God. then press uh, F3, F5, and then do that again. And I should push everybody uh, down into this. Okay, cool. That's, that's fine with me. We'll let mainly the AI do their thing and we'll kind of just keep as like a, a pretty solid flanking force, I guess. Because ideally, we don't really want to give up our soldiers in this battle. Like, there's just no need to. Because again, we're going to probably have to be the main like force against the against the incoming Germanians. So I'm going to let these guys take kind of the, the brunt of this assault. I'm also going to tell everybody just to dismount as well. Just so that we're all fighting on foot. We don't need the cavalry. And that way, we'll actually have a much tighter formation as well. So let's just continue to push up. We're going to get a little bit closer uh, and then just deal with the Germanians up there. And by Germanians, of course, I mean Romans. I, I, we've been fighting Germans so long that I need, just need to tell myself that they're, they're not friendly units coming at us. Okay, the battle lines have well and truly clashed now. Let's obviously try and snipe out a few of these incoming enemy lords if we can. The infantry should do a good job as well. So we've got a few enemy uh, elites up here as well. Yeah, nice. Killing the enemy elite cavalry is going to be good. Oh, no, I, I guess as the fight does continue, we're going to probably just push around this flank. Yeah, let's push around a flank. Probably the, le the left flank will be quicker to get to. Pick up all these javelins. We also have all our javelins as well. So ideally, it'd be amazing. Get around that flank and then just let off a volley of javelins. We are pretty slow, though, so we might not even make it in time. I got huge enemy cavalry charge. What the hell are they thinking, man? They just, like, charged right into the back of my 100 men. I mean, be my guess. We should cut these guys down to pieces. Go, go, go. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of damage here and there. Good job. All right, boys. I mean, their archers are still there, obviously. But there's only 37 of them, right? So just keep on pushing. I want to really get behind them. Yeah, we've even got some of our Spanish mercenaries here as well. Good, good, good. Yeah, do that and then go fire a will now. Yeah, start throwing the javelins if you guys have them. So ideally, we want to be facing this way, boys. Let's turn, let's turn, let's turn. I don't want to be throwing javelins at their archers. I want to cut off their retreat if we can. Yeah, nice. Good kill there. Are you guys all throwing your javelins still? Oh, yeah. Kill their lords as well, if you guys can. Deal with them. Get, dismount them at least. There we go. Yeah, dismounted them. And then dealt with them. Yeah, there's a lot of enemy lords here. Uh, and I guess we just want to charge now. 
Yeah, charge, charge, charge. Just push into them now. Let's go. This should be a great little push. They've got a lot of soldiers, but of course, having an extra 100 reinforcements coming like this into their flank. That's going to see them through. Yeah, we're crushing them. Try and dismount them as much as we can as well. This sword isn't the best for infantry on infantry. It's more of a cavalry sword, which is realistically, I don't know why we're using it. Because we are, for all intents and purposes, a foot commander at the moment. So we should honestly change like a gladius or even just a spear. Would not be bad. I can't believe how well they're holding here. We are actually like, actually like a bit struggling a little bit to push through here. So I'm very surprised with how well they are doing. I thought we'd just like rip them apart, but I guess Romans are Romans. They've got some Praetorians in here as well. We'll keep on pushing and just try and break through. But I guess that's like cavalry coming in pretty big. Okay, infantry. Now push over here. Oh my God, I went down. That's annoying. These need to play as one of our other units. Oh my God. Um, I guess engage to try and stop this cavalry. Yeah, try and stop the cavalry. That was a lot of enemy cavalry coming in. Where are, where's our horses, you know? We've broken their front line though, which is huge. So much cavalry! So much cavalry. I think we've been able to kill a lot of it. Yeah, they've reformed basically, which is which is what's doing a lot of our damage to us. I want to make sure that my men don't overextend. So I'm going to get my soldiers and I'm going to bring them back. Because obviously, they're going to reinforce. I don't want to get caught with their reinforcements whilst our men aren't there. So if we can, let's get out of there. Yeah, they're, they're of course trying to fall back to their reinforcements as well. So let's just deal with what we can. Pull back my men. Because remember, yeah, even though we do have the advantage here, they still have hundreds of men. Like, they still have, what, 800 soldiers. So, yeah, let's just do, do the damage we can and pull back. I mean, again, we're about 100 kills ahead of them, which is nice, considering we have the advantage to begin with. But let's not lose that advantage. My God, I've been abandoned. I was just saying how much I don't want to get caught, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Yeah, their cavalry is relentless. And they're, they're just charging me. Oh, my God, my entire army is going to die. Like, they just ran all the way back there, I think. Where are all of our armies there? Yeah, that cavalry is just not letting us get away. Yeah, we're, this is going to be really rough. I think we just have to hold. Um, let's just form a square. There's only 30 of us left now. Yeah, all these soldiers are dead. God damn it, man. Well, I'm going to make my little stand here, then I guess, until hopefully reinforcements arrive. I don't think we're going to kill much, but yeah, that's basically my army wiped out right away. Oh, man, that was poor by me. That was really poor. I mean, we're going to be able to you know, inflict our pound of flesh. Yeah, we're going to be able to kill a lot of them here. Especially a lot of their cavalry. This was a good Roman army as well. There's a lot of horses. I just wish like once we would have the cavalry advantage, you know? I feel like I never... Where did that even hit me from? I feel like I never do have the cavalry advantage. Imagine if it's all my companions that spent ages getting actually end up like dying in this battle. Yeah, look at their archers there. I mean, we're holding. We are holding. Are they They're my men as well. Do I reinforce? Do I take the six and come up here and reinforce? I think I might. Like, we'll just commit to this. Why not? They're going to throw their peeler in the side. Okay, okay. Good job, good job. Yeah, I mean, I guess just engage. Just do your thing, boys. Do your thing. Engage. We are getting fully surrounded now. The circle is looking not great. Protect that goddamn banner, boys. <laughs> Protect that banner. We've got some relief coming in as well. We've got some relief. It's not going to be enough, though. There's no way. There's no way. But oh, reinforcements are arriving! Hold! Protect the banner. Do not let it fall. The reinforcements have arrived. Hold the line! Oh my god, this square is crumbling. Are you friend or foe? I don't know. Either way, you're going down. Oh my god, no, the square! The square is broken! Protect the banner! Oh my god, I need to get to friendly units now. Let's get to friendly units. Oh, I went down. No, I think that's literally all the soldiers I have access to now. Yeah, my entire army went down there. The reinforcements have arrived now. And that should see it. Man, that was such a cool little last stand there. Okay, so the reinforcements cleared that up quite nicely. As I mentioned, I lost 70 of my men in that battle. 92 wounded. A lot of very good soldiers went down. So I think we're going to have to fall back and actually probably rebuild up our army. Which isn't necessarily the worst thing because we're going to probably shift over to the east now anyway. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. And we also made some good friends along the way. Uh, again, you guys are all free to go. Uh, even though I should maybe recruit all and look at all these prisoners. That's going, to be the, um, that's going to be the best thing about fighting Romans as well. Is we just get access to all of these elite soldiers that we can just recruit. Which is going to be really nice. There's some very good soldiers here. Uh, that we're going to be able to bring into the fold.
Okay, and with that, we have obviously just cleared these guys out. Perfect. We'll auto-resolve the remnants of the army. I don't know why they are around here still. That's fine. Uh, we didn't actually capture any lords, so that's fine. Okay, we'll let them move up with their 1,000-man army. They should be able to put Massilia and Longdinium under siege. And I guess we're going to then take the remnants of that. And then we're going to, of course, re-recruit our own army. But then, yeah, I guess we're going to be the front line against the Germanians. You can already see as well, we already lost like 200 men from losing all the, uh, the elite pro like centurions and stuff. But that is going to be where we wrap up the episode. I think I'm going to go on a mass recruitment spree, uh, spree off camera. And then we have to dive towards Batavium to fight this two-front war, which is, yeah, <laughs> looking a bit rough, right? Like, there's enemies on every single side, which is, yeah, yeah we'll want to deal with it. Don't worry. I'm sure it will be fine. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like, drop a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. You can also check out the entire playlist down below in the description as well. Uh, but yeah, fish out.